Hello, and welcome to the second episode. Uh... Of, uh, Life is Strange. In the previous episode of Life is Strange... Got away from me, no! Whoa! What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, right now we're just watching a recap of the previous episode. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice, the consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. There should be a semicolon in there. Right about, well, now it's gone. But there should have been a semicolon in there. That's right, I'm being pedantic. Like a jerk. Get out of bed, you lazy bum. Twitch is probably going to mute this all in the bra in the broadcast. Whoops, not what I meant to do. Well, not live. It's obviously not muted live because Twitch doesn't mute things live. But Twitch is probably going to mute uh, mute this in the broadcast because it's probably copyrighted music. That's just how Twitch rolls. Twitch is poopy sometimes. No amount of rewind will keep me clean. I still need a shower. This totally reminds me of being a kid in my room. Sorry, Mom. I can make my bed whenever I want. Booyah. I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Alright. Let's read this journal. This is not a great game to stream because uh, there's a lot of reading involved and it's hard to talk while I'm reading. So there are just long passages of silence while I move my cursor around the screen like an idiot.
Okay. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. I actually like this this song, so I'm gonna keep keep it on. This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Good morning, clothes. I hope you slept well. Now, shall I be my Gucci shirt with the Vuitton jacket? Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? Probably. I actually have no idea. Meanwhile, my guitar gently sleeps. Oh, I'm actually strumming along. That's kind of neat. Um, I'm gonna get up. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Good morning, Lisa. Your leaves are lovely today. I may not have a green thumb, but I have a green finger. Drink up. It's got electrolytes. I don't think you're supposed to give electrolytes to plants. I admit, this is hilarious, but I shouldn't sink to Victoria's bully level. Whew. I could get lost doing time travel research. Me and the search engine have become one. If only I could be this focused on homework. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. More reading. We're going visual novel style. Oh yeah. This is so insane, it sounds logical to me. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Should I sign? Thanks, Victoria. I always wanted to be a Max meme when I grew up. She'll spread that shit everywhere. And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. Okay, enough. This picture will capture this crazy historic moment in my life. Let's take a selfie. No smiling. Take your power seriously. This action will have consequences. Probably not. I 
I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. I could rewind for days and read all of these books. Will I really find any insight into my power? Probably not. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. What's in my drawer? It would be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game, instead of drama games. DVDs, what's in here? Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. Okay, enough of that. Let's go take a shower. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. I have algebra. What I got algebra? That's not useful. Not a lot of photography in here. Anyway. Gordon, seriously? Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. Rachel looks like she's staring at me. No Brook here. I don't want to go to Brook's room anyway. But what's this poster really trying to tell me? Why am I doing this? Fine, I won't disturb you. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. marks of Satan. This action will have consequences. Guess not. Ow. Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. One quick rewind and I could stop this TP attack. I apparently can't enter the girl's bathroom. I want a shower, damn it. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. Ow! Wow. 
One quick rewind and I could stop this TP attack. If I help Alyssa, I could be like the godmother of Blackwell. You okay, Alyssa? Immature assholes. Sorry, Max. I'm not feeling social right now. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. I did a thing. Oh, the showers are separate from the bathroom. Could be fun. Glad I'm not the only lonely nerd around here. Thanks for the warning. Wake up, Max. Juliet is next to me in the hall, not her room. Chloe is so determined to find you, Rachel. I've never seen Dana this bouncy and happy without a pot of coffee. I have no idea what's going on here, so I'm going to take a screenshot of it. What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Just say yes. Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. I don't it does think sound so. fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Hmm. Don't ask about it. Curiosity killed the Max. Rollerblades! Oh, I wanted to be a derby girl, but I almost broke my feet just putting them on. Dana takes her Blackwell spirit seriously. I would too. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Probably just being creepy. Trevor is making himself comfortable. Ugh, hope they don't get busted. Get busted for having sex on college? That's sad. Go away! People are leaving. Clearly not a welcome to Black Hill. Blackwell isn't that big, but. It sure feels like a labyrinth. Samuel truly is a weirdo, but he is great at cleaning up.
Go Miss Grant. Not sure if I will, though. I'm a loser. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. There's Brooke, looking smarter than everybody. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. You look distracted. Everything cool? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Let's talk to Juliet. She probably hates me. Whatever they're watching must be hot stuff. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? Why should I? Because it's fucking hilarious. Church girl gone wild. Kate's not like that, and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touché. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What about Zachary? Did you let him off the hook? When he acts like a worm, I let him dangle. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. I'll go take a shower. That's just how I roll. I'm a showering kind of gal today. I'm also a gal today for some reason. Let's talk to Kate. Kate is not good. I wish David would get off her crack, as Chloe would say. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Time for a shower. I don't really understand what the point of this scene is. I guess I'll find out soon. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yuck! You're I way too white all over my face. to say that. Max Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. I should have beat her down. That was so uncool. She's jealous because Mark... Mr. Jefferson knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. 
<laughs> URLs are usually a lot longer than that. Unless she memorizes a shortened link, because she's just that crazy. I better get dressed than go give back Kate's book. I drew a lot. taken any of the photos yet. Water is almost as good as a cup of strong tea when I'm in sleepy mode. Hello? Water? Sorry. I forgot. Is that the link to Kate's video? Damn, Victoria is so fucking mean. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. That's pretty angry. I'm good to flow, thanks. Otter power? I'm so not there. Okay, um, let's get out of the bathroom. Ugh, excuse me. Let's get out of the bathroom and, uh, go grab the book. Why would anybody even care? I thought artists helped each other. No, they don't. They ruin each other. Two can play at this game, Moriarty. They might not believe it, but they won't be sure. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up? After I find Kate's book. Oh shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Nah, it's pretty good art. I like it. 
I'm gonna screenshot that. Victoria, of course. That's what I get for making fun of her. Bitch. This really needs a... My poor Donnie Darko. How could anybody want to break cute little Jake Gyllenhaal? This should really be a way to uh, lock your door. Ta-da! I do love a clean room. Very zen. Except for that bullshit graffiti. I have a keep calm and carry on rug. Ooh. No book here. Okay, we're gonna take a short pause. And uh, if this is, uh, if I can, if Twitch doesn't uh, mute my audio for proprietary music or whatever, then uh, there will be a break here in the video, and there will be. Video. Otherwise, it must be a long pause while I go do other things. Uh, and for that, I apologize because I'm too lazy to chop up my videos into pieces. So I'll return shortly.
All right, we're back in action. Um, I realize I could have just like paused the recording because uh, this game actually plays well with Alt Tab. I forgot to do that. Um, in any case, I'm actually going to turn off my mic for this section of the game, and uh, for that, I apologize. No book here. <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to our list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. This is such a wise, wistful book. I have to read way more Bradbury. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Good morning, Lisa. Your leaves are lovely today. I may not have a green thumb, but I have a green finger. Mrs. Hoyda is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. I need to get dressed before I go there. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Matt.
Oh, shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Hey, I'm trying to use my powers for good. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mommy. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mommy. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Kate really has a doting father. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Good lord, this must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. Ouch, she left out amnation.
poor Kate. She doesn't look good. Hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember, I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Great, so we just had a, a fun little date rape storyline. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. He hurt you. Probably. Should I go to the police? Yes, you should. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police. And also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. 
He'll get it. Yeah, this this became depressingly real all of a sudden. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal after getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself. Yeah, this 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 just just got uh depressingly real. You know. Uh dudes from proud families running around raping young women getting away with it because they come from powerful families who uh, find new ways to lend the blame on victims. This is fun stuff, isn't it? No emoji. I agree with Chloe. Chloe's got the right idea. Uh, I keep wanting to press J to open my journal. Um, anyway. Let's go to the diner now. Oh, I have control. The paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. I remember when I broke in here earlier? I can see that Samuel's concerned, but does he need a poster? How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident, and too easy to sneak into. I definitely won't play with this thing again. And I reached the invisible wall. How hard is it to dump the trash into a bin? But I could use this to attract squirrels. How hard is it to dump the trash into a bin? But release the Kraken! Come on, squirrels! Time for your 15 minutes of fame! Come on, squirrel. Wowzer, it's hard to get this close to a squirrel. Yes! Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. Yeah, you ain't getting a Pulitzer for that. <laughs> anyway. Football. Can't Blackwell have at least one no football zone? Your face. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Ah, there's Samuel, up early, already communing with the critters. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. 
That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, animals don't talk that's silly. a spirit animal. <laughs> Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. Creepy old bastard. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. Don't talk about yourself in the third person. Sorry to pry, Samuel, but... Why are there photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? I'm curious about her. Sorry to pry, she says while prying. Now everybody wants to know about her. So did you know her? Like I told the police. She was a good egg. And she gave me those photos. Oh, you talked to the police? Rachel wanted to be a model. Yeah. She gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. Keep on prying, Max. Sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. You are a creep. And I don't want to talk to you. I don't think I've actually seen Taylor alone without Team Victoria. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk. For once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Oh, not gonna rewind. I don't regret anything. I am perfect. Speaking of perfection. I'll go to hell. Uh, before I talk with Warren, I think that's Warren. I think I'm gonna take a pause here. Um, and uh, I'm just gonna stop the stream temporarily. Actually, keep the stream going. Stop the recording. All right, I will be back very shortly. Actually, not very shortly. I'm gonna be back in like ten minutes. I apologize.